Cheetos. Flaming hot Cheetos. Flaming hot Cheetos. Flaming hot Cheetos. What the heck is this? I want to tell you about how a janitor at Frito Lay made our favorite snack of, of all time. What could I do? What could I create? The Flamin' Hot Cheeto. It's actually a complicated story about rags to riches turned. Did I just spit that out? Turned lies and ego? You weren't solely responsible. Did you think it was racism? Everybody's staring at me. Look. They both like this. Don't. This dude, Richard Montañez, is a janitor mopping floors at the Frito-Lay factory in Rancho Cucamonga. And at a convenience store in a Latino neighborhood, he notices something. I mean, down on our products, he's boring as hell, no sabor. But next to the, the chips, he spots something, Mexican spices. So he gets the idea to put chili on a Cheeto, Cheetos con chiles. And now he wants to pitch it to the company. Hola, I'd like to talk to the CEO, por favor. How's this? Richard Montaigne is from Fredo Lay in California, yay. And you're the VP overseer in California? Oh, Holmes, I'm the janitor. The CEO, Roger Enrico, takes his call and he loves it. He invites Richard to do a presentation, Richard nails his spicy pitch, and the Flamin' Hot Cheetos idea becomes a billion dollar product, and the poor janitor becomes a celebrated executive. All is well in the world. End of story, right? Wrong. Because as Richard was releasing a memoir and then doing public speaking engagements and Eva Longoria's producing a film about him, the LA Times writes this hit piece. The man who didn't invent Flamin' Hot Cheetos. This big meeting never happened. It was just later in the 90s that Flamin' Hot Cheetos were already invented, so the timeline didn't quite work. What? It's a Flamin' Hot Cheeto? I mean, who cares? Well, when... Lynn Greenfeld cares because she's claiming that she, fresh out of business school, was tasked with creating the Flamin' Hot Cheeto. And Lynn tells things a little bit differently. She's like, Oh, bitch! Yes, 1989! Frito Lay's headquarters in Plano, Texas is made from the team of Hot Shot Snack Food Professional. See, Lynn had just graduated with an MBA and she was dropped in the corporate offices of Frito-Lay. And there was a project on her desk. Create a new product to compete with those spicy snacks from inner city mini marts in the Midwest. Like this, Chicago's very own hot stuff, the, the precursor to the flaming Hot. So Greenfeld gets to work. God, this thing is unruly. And over a number of months, she visits Chicago, Detroit, and Houston to see what they're selling in their corner stores. Then she claims she works with Frito-Lay's packaging and product teams to develop the red powdery flavor mix and packaging. She creates a bag with a chubby devil holding a Cheeto. I don't know what to think. Because basically, Frito-Lay says the damn Cheeto was invented in 1989. Richard doesn't start talking about inventing it until the 2000s. And then it's not until 2018 and an Eva Longoria film that Lynn speaks up about it. So I'm just telling you what we know and it's a messy case of he said, she said, white collar versus blue collar, the MBAs versus the PhDs. Poor, hungry, and determined as Richard calls himself. And and I really can't figure out who's right. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's a processed corn puff. Oh, spilling them everywhere. It's a processed corn puff coated in God knows what, red staining finger powder. They are delicious though. I spilled them everywhere. Oh my God. Okay, wait, so this was all news in like 2020, but 22 hours ago, I quote, Eva Longoria's directorial debut, Flamin' Hot, sets release June 9th, 2023. The plot thickens. <laughs>